I'm here to support President Trump. You want to know why I'm here to support President Trump? Because they done did black men like this for decades. Make up charges and put them so I know Trump is innocent. I support Trump against this corrupt, two-tiered justice system. That's why I'm here to show my support as a black man for Trump. And I'm wearing my shirt, niggas for Trump 2024, and I mean that. What do you think about the indictments? Oh, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it's going around the country. You know, Fanny, Fanny Willis. She's a, uh, she went to school with my sister. She's full of shit. She was full of shit then. So she's a puppet for the white liberal that, that is controlling everything. She's in front, but the white liberal back there pulling those strings, telling her what to do. That's what I think about her, making a fool of herself. Do you think it's going to help his election? Oh, of course it is. It's going to elevate him all the way. I think we should make Trump king. That's how I feel. <laughs> We wouldn't should make him be, king. Um, wouldn't that be like kind of like communistic? <laughs> no, nah, that's no way nothing near communist. Now nah, we just gonna make him king, but we still got our freedoms and rights and everything. He for that. Yeah, Trump for King 2024. That's actually my URL. I own that URL. You own that URL? I can't get your name. Really? Oh, my name is Niggas for Trump 2024. Okay. I can't. Derek Gibson, that. former. That's my nigga. Former candidate. I'm a former candidate for New York State Governor. Okay. Derek Gibson, look me up. Nigga, I'm dead. I live up to it, too, boy. I can scrap, too, but I can get down, boy. <laughs> Not better. I can't. <laughs> I got a proven track record. record. You want to try me out? <laughs> try to take this shirt off. I'll give you get some. Of it. Get everybody off the roadway. Have you ever heard this president say one negative thing about white supremacists? Have you ever heard it? I totally disavow the Ku Klux Klan. I totally disavow David Duke. You wouldn't even condemn David Duke, for God's sake. Well, you've got David Duke just joined. A bigot, a racist, a problem. I mean, this is not exactly the people you want in your party. I got back in this race because of what happened in Charlottesville. People coming out of the woods, carrying torches, their veins bulging, and a young woman gets killed resisting the hate and violence. And the president gets asked to come in, and what's he say? He says they're very fine people on both sides. And you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. And I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. Are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups neo-Nazis and the white nationalists because they should be condemned totally. Racism is evil, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists. Condemn the evil of anti-Semitism and hate. Our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. There be no tolerance for anti-Semitism in America or for any form of religious or racial hatred or prejudice. We must never ignore the vile poison of anti-Semitism or those who spread its venomous creed. How many times do I have to reject? I've rejected David Duke, rejected David Duke. Uh, I've rejected the uh, KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. From the time I'm five years old, I rejected them. David Duke is saying to his supporters and followers, vote for Donald Trump. White supremacists are saying, vote. do you want those votes? No, I don't want them, and I don't want him to say it. I don't like any group of hate. Hate groups are not for me. You've got David Duke just here. A bigot, a racist, a problem. David Duke endorsed me? Okay. All right. I disavow, okay? Let me be clear again. I condemn the KKK. I condemn all white supremacists. I condemn the proud boy. A Trump's campaign told CBS News this publication is repulsive and their views do not represent the tens of millions of Americans who are uniting behind our campaign. So I'm not Would looking to repudiate David Duke. Sure. When we looked at it and looked at the question, I disavowed David Duke. So I disavowed David Duke all weekend long on Facebook, on Twitter, and mm -hmm. obviously it's never enough. I totally disavow the Ku Klux Klan. I totally disavow David Duke. Ku Klux Klan, which obviously I'm going to disavow. Do you want white supremacists to vote for you? No, I don't. I don't. Not at How many times do I have to reject? Love for America requires love for all of its people. When we open our hearts to patriotism, 
There is no room for prejudice, no place for bigotry, and no tolerance for hate. You have repeatedly we, criticized the, the vice president for not specifically calling out Antifa and other left-wing extremist right. groups. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland? Sure, are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what, what, what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right supremacists. Who would you like me to condemn? White proud supremacists boys. and right proud, proud boys. boys. Stand back and stand by. How far will the most corrupt president in history go to keep Republicans from winning back the White House? Meet the cast of unscrupulous accomplices he's assembled to get Trump.
Alvin Bragg, the radical liberal New York prosecutor who refuses to prosecute violent criminals. Jack Smith, who's made a career persecuting innocent Republican officials. Letitia James, the socialist who ran on the promise, I'll go after Trump. And Biden's newest lackey, Atlanta DA, Fonnie Willis. So incompetent, on her watch, violent crimes have exploded. So tainted, Willis was thrown off one case for trying to prosecute a political opponent. So corrupt, Willis got caught hiding a relationship with a gang member she was prosecuting. So dishonest, Willis was accused of creating a fake subpoena. Welcome to the Fraud Squad. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. It's an invasion of America. Streets flooded with poison, killing millions. Enemies and tyrants on opposite sides of the globe laugh at us. Wars threaten us. The threat of nuclear annihilation, once forgotten, is now real again. America's weakness has become their strength. The global elitist who send your kids to war, who tell you a woman is a man and a man is a woman, who teach your children their country, their faith, their beliefs are a lie. They have corrupted every facet of American government, weaponized it against you. While they watch our cities burn and violent crimes skyrocket, you and your families pay the price. Out of control inflation, an economy wrecked, a nation in decline. This is Joe Biden's America, failing, weak. But one man, one movement can change all that for us. Put America, the middle class, first, and put the globalists, the elitist, and the corrupt in their place. Bring back pride and the American dream to let the world know, don't mess with us. One man focused on the true owners of this great land. One movement focused on the true priorities. Make America great for us again. Here's a question for you. Just how far are the radical left and inside the Beltway bandits willing to go to stop him? We all know they hate him for winning the fight to protect life, for exposing their deep state, for draining their precious swamp. And they already know he'll crush Biden. So like a pack of rabid wolves, they attack. So let's impeach him. Let's get tainted radical left prosecutors to charge him. Let's conspire with Hillary and the FBI with fake stories about him. All to distract from Biden's incompetence, weakness, and money-grabbing corruption. But here's the thing, he'll never blink. That's called having the courage of your convictions. And it's why he's our president. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. They come from different walks of life, but all have one thing in common. They want their country back. Parents who want to take back control of their children's education. Veterans tired of being kicked to the curb. They believe in protecting the sanctity of life, securing our borders, standing for the flag, kneeling for God above and an honest day's pay for an honest day's work. Hillary made fun of them. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. Biden called them a threat. The MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. And DeSantis degradingly called them listless vessels. No, they aren't, Ron. They're great Americans who know there's one person who will always have their backs. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message.